It was in uh, 1954, and uh, it took me by surprise, actually. Uh, I had been practicing yoga for many years previous to this, uh, but on this uh, Saturday morning in May 1954, uh, I was in my apartment and I heard a voice. Uh, it was in English. Uh, the voice was not in the head. This was no psychic apparition. Uh, the voice was outside of myself and it said, prepare yourself, you are to become the voice of interplanetary parliament. Well, I had no idea what that meant. I n knew nothing about UFOs uh, in those days. I had not studied them, but I had studied yoga. And I'd studied yoga long enough to realize that this was very important. And it was uh, eight days after this first event that I decided uh, that the only way that I could solve this mystery, because nobody else could help me, and I tried many people, uh, was to go into meditation myself. So I locked myself in the room, uh, fully determined to stay there until I got some answer. Well, I didn't have to stay very long because a man, physical, uh, who I did recognize, he was alive in India at the time, a well-known yogi master, he walked into the room without me having to open the door, by the way. He walked across the floor and sat down in the chair, which creaked uh, under his weight. And he told me about the previous contact I'd had, voice contact, and he gave me certain instructions. Uh, for instance, he said that you will receive uh, an invitation from a yoga teacher in uh, London um, and uh, you should attend his classes and so on. I have had some physical contacts as well as mental contacts. Very briefly the mental contacts are quite unusual in a way that I precipitate a yogic somatic condition in order to gain mental rapport with higher intelligences. 